welcome to our second lesson on survey okay uh, in our previous lesson on survey we talked about baseline and offsets so today we are going to see how do you come up with a diagram which is represented by dimension in the field book so the field book has two major parts the baseline in the middle and then offsets on the side so whatever i've written in red are offsets offsets the middle figures represent baseline and if you remember you have to start from one point move along the baseline and then see where you want to draw your offset. So now this field book, we cannot change it. We are given that the baseline AF is 600. The baseline AF is 600. So we have AF is equal to 600 meters. Again, let us all take all these dimensions to be in meters for me to it is easier for me to explain so what do you do when you are given a field book beside it draw a baseline af baseline af what do you do just take a ruler draw the baseline there this baseline measurement start from zero increasing upward okay they start from zero increasing upward to f so a is at level zero f is at level 600 then after that come and do one offset at a time the first offset is b and it is at what level 100 so what is 100 minus zero 100 so you measure 100 or by using a scale you know we could use a scale uh, maybe uh, 1 to 40 1 to 20 1 to 10 and so on okay but first get the concept of how do you come up with a diagram so first offset, offset is at 100 from a the next offset we are told it is at level 200 from a not from this point no it is from a so from here up to here we've already found it is 100 therefore the difference is 100 i reach the second offset the off second offset is to d 200 to d so i write 200 to d second offset is here the level is 200 okay so i have to get the space between here this level 100 this is level 200 so the space the distance between level 1 and level 2 is 200 okay and when you add 100 and 100 you get the 200 here okay so you come this way, you put the 200 in red, the offset are in red there. Now I go to level 3. Offset 3 is to the left, to point E. It is at what level? 400 from A. This level is 400 from A, this level. From A all the way up to here is 400. From here up to here is 200. So what is remaining? 400 minus 200 you get 200 here then how far is it to e 120 this 120 here the next offset is to c at what level 440 from here all the way up to here is 440 and we learned that from here to level 3 is 400 from A to level 3, 400. From A to level 4, that is to C, 
is 440. What is the difference? 440 minus 400, 20. So you can see I've tried to put for you in blue what is the dimension of the spaces in between the levels. Then from this offset to C, we have a balance of 160 to F. How did I get it? From A all the way to F is 600. But from A up to level C is 440. So what is 600 minus 440? 160. All right? So that is the interpretation. Now what remains is how to come up with the figure. So you join. I can join now from A to D. Systematically, I'm going clockwise. There. 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 Back. Back. That is a sketch. That is a sketch of the required figure. This diagram must be drawn to scale. Now, you can come up with scale after you've put all the required figures. For example, I can use 1 to 20. I can use scale 1 to 20 now. I can use scale 1 to 20. So here it will be 5, 5 centimeters. Here 8, here 5. Okay? Where there is 200, you say 200 divided by 20, 10 centimeters. And so on. One may use scale 1 to 10. So if I'm using scale 1 to 10, here, it will be 10 centimeters. Here, 16. You can't get that space in your, in your exam. The working space can't. So you must choose the scale after you have put all the dimension in your sketch. Now you come up with a right correct scale. Then draw it to scale. Even in uh, solids, when we are told to open the net, eh, please, they will say sketch the net. It's not a sketch. You must draw it to scale to be safe. It must be drawn to scale. Okay, so after have, having drawn the impression of the land, I now get the correct scale. Correct scale. You can see that. I've given an example. Now, the questions that follow are as simple as this. I want us to focus on the lower part. I've finished with transferring this information to a diagram from the field book to area from field book to a diagram i've done that so i want us to focus on possible questions of getting the area okay once in a while i'll be coming up but before i move down i can talk of uh, let us let let us give them uh, numbers there is a triangle here we call one then there is this trapezium we call it two. This one we call it three. This is area four. This is area five and this is area six. So I want us quickly. Area one will be area of triangle. Area two will be area of trapezium. So you must know these are the two parallel sides. 160 and 100. Then from here to here the distance between two parallel sides will be 100, 300, and 40. Area 3 is a triangle, no problem. Area 4 is a triangle, no problem. Area 5, 120 plus 200, that is sum of parallel sides. Then the distance between the parallel side is 200, then times a half. And all these formula are now in the book. Okay? So, that is the interpretation I want you to get. Remember the core thing I am teaching? 
This is form one, normally third term. How do you get the diagram from field book? Number one, start with the baseline. Just beside your, beside your field book, draw a baseline. Then put the letters as given. Then understand, you see, this is my base dimension. Baseline dimension are here. So you go to B is on the right. And then to D is on the left. You move on like that, like that. After doing that and placing their dimension, you have to know the spaces left. This was at level 100. This was level 200. This was level 400. This is level 440. And then we have 600 here. So you must know these dimensions. I put them in blue. How do they come about? The ones in blue. Okay. So I have three colors here. Red, blue, and black. So the reds are offset. The blue are spaces, distances between levels. Distance between levels of off cut. Once you put them, you can now interpret the figure vis-a-vis -vis or compared to regular shapes. Triangle, trapezium, triangle, triangle, trapezium, triangle. Now we want to get the area. We focus down, we go slowly here. So area one, you can still see it. It is a half. This is 90. Remember, this is 90. The offsets always are at 90 with the baseline. So a half, a half, 160 times 100. Eh? This can be height. This is the base. Area 2 is this one. 100 plus 160. I've shown you. Then we multiply by the distance between them. Okay? Area 3, it is again, I focus once in a while, now up and down. Area 3 is this one. This can be the height, this is the base. Okay, so 160 times 100. Area 4, this is 160 and this is 40. So from here up to here is 200 and this is 120. So we come down again here. Do you remember area 3? It is 100 by 160. Area 4, a half by 120 by 200. Where did I get 200? The piece on top there, 160, and you add to 40. Then area 5, we can see it in the camera. 120 plus 200. 200 plus 120. And then what is the space here? 200. Area 6 is a triangle. Of 200, this is 200 by 200. Okay? Now, what next after doing all this? What next? What is likely to be asked? Getting these areas, you will score. Uh, depending on the marking scheme, you will compute this, you get. It can be 2 marks or 3 marks. It can be 6 marks. I don't know. Depends on the teacher. Now, I want us to look at the finishing bit here. Okay? There. So once you have all these areas, there are six in total, you add them together. My addition gives me 114,000 square meters. Remember I told you we use the dimension of meters. So these are square meters this could be a mark then you can be asked what is that area in hectares so you divide by 10,000 okay one hectare is equal to how many square meters one hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters so when you have all these square meters you do divide by 10,000 you get the hectare so let us assume 
every point has a mark okay every point has a mark so i give you here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 marks then here on this diagram i give you base and offset base and offset i give you b1 and then correctly dimension b1 10 marks folks those are 10 marks you can't joke with 10 marks okay keep on subscribing you will get the next this was form one but good stuff for form one two three four don't say i'm not yet in form four stay home stay safe wear masks mask wear mask and we meet again